everybody. Welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop, say it with me now, the Yobatsu Hara Sakai Tower. And tonight is round four of Cars of Legends. No, it's not tonight. What am I thinking? It's Sunday morning, Polly. Sunday morning. So used to going on Friday night. Sunday morning. We were actually going to continue the trend with Saturday morning cartoons with ye premiering yesterday morning. But when we came out, unlocked the track yesterday morning, the sisters of the Kaiju were already on the track doing whatever they do. So we decided, you know what? We're just going to lock up the gates and back way and come back this morning to Sunday morning. So hopefully, hopefully they are not here this morning. So let's get on to the introductions to our first group, shall we? All right. First up, we got 2K from 2K Racing. He'll be driving in Fennec Shan from the Book of Boba Fett. That is one low profile car. He's going to be going up against Numskull from Numskull Racing driving Robin. Hey, which which is your favorite Robin? Put it in the comments below. Is it Tim Drake, Dick Grayson? Who is it? They'll be racing against the Gray Wizard from Golden Owl Racing who will be driving in the Scarlet Witch. Hell oh, yeah. And last, but certainly not least, a favorite here at the Pacific Rim Speedway, Rag Tag Jim, who is going to be driving SpongeBob SquarePants. All right, here they are lined up. To no. Seriously? Is that no? The sisters came back. No, it's Sunday morning. It's supposed to be church and family time. Sisters should not be here. Oh, Fennec is on the pole position. Here goes Fennec Shan, gets the whole shot, but there goes Robin right on her over. Robin gets sideways, Robin rolls it in Kaiju's lair. Fennec Shan crosses in first, but no one else to be found. Wow, a sub six, 5.84. Is it fast enough? No, you gotta beat a 5.8279, which has been set by Bay City Diecast, 5.827. Remember that number. But wow, sub six, the lead is out even with the sisters out in force. Look at the replay. Coming down the backstretch, you see Scarlet Witch trying to challenge SpongeBob on the inside, almost flies off the inside of the helipad. Then Robin gets sideways on the jump, rolls and crashes on the landing. Bob SquarePants unable to go anywhere. Scarlet Witch knocks Robin even further off the track. And look at SpongeBob is right there next to the Sisters of the Kaiju. I can't believe they came back this morning. And watch, let's see what happens to the Scarlet Witch as she's coming down to the straightaway because she did not finish. Oh, she comes to a stop just short of Kenna's kebabs in front of Frankie's Fish and Chips. Well, <laughs> wow, can't believe that happened. All right, the drivers are back up to the top. Fennec with the only points on the board moves to the front right. SpongeBob now moves up to the pole position. Let's see what happens here in lap two. All right, here they go. Spon oh, SpongeBob rolls in the sewer vent and crashes. Scarlet Witch takes advantage. Scarlet Witch spins, but is able to take the win in reverse, followed by Fennec in second and Robin in third. Wow, Scarlet with a 6.00 lap time in reverse. These cars are fast. Look at this rough crash by SpongeBob. Comes around the sewer vent, gets pushed over by Fennec. He rolls right in front of Fennec Shan, but she's like, nope, you're not stopping me, and just catapults him in to that light pole. Wow, a second DNF for SpongeBob. This time, this was a violent one. SpongeBob with two DNFs now moves to the front right. Scarlet Witch now moving up to the pole position. She just won the last lap. Can she win it here again in lap three to set her up nice for lap four? Here they go. Oh, SpongeBob rolls out of the sewer vent again. Scarlet Witch, Robin trying to challenge. Scarlet Witch is able to hold off Robin and take the win. Robin in second and Fennec in third. Did 
SpongeBob seriously roll out. He was in the inside lane the previous lap. Now he's in the outside lane. And then Fennec Shan throws him out of the track again into the same light pole. This is crazy. Fennec, she means business. She doesn't want anything to do with SpongeBob being in front of her. And again, triple DNF for SpongeBob. That is the end of his tournament, even though we have one lap remaining. Now, for all three of the remaining cars, any of those three, two of them can move on. All three have a chance. Robin now sitting in the pole position for the fourth and final lap. And here they go. Robin out in front, hits the whole shot, but Fennec Shan not too far behind. Can Robin land it? Oh, and Fennec rolls it in Kaiju's lair. Robin takes the win, followed by <laughs> Golden Owl and Scarlet Witch in second, and a 5.9. Robin now with a sub six second time. Check out the replay. I guess since SpongeBob had nobody pushing him from behind, he stays in the track and he comes down the backstretch with everyone else. Here they go across the jump. Everything looks fine, but then Fennec gets, the back end gets really squirrely. And then, wow, I wonder if the Scarlet Witch used some of her magic to cause Fennec Shan to roll over right there in Kaiju's lair so she could take third place. Fennec comes to a stop right there at gate six. Let's see who the point standings are. Oh, Scarlet Witch moves on, but we have a tie between Fennec, Shan, and Robin. And for the first time in like three tournaments, we finally have, yes, you all know it, we have a Southern Death Match. Best two out of three Southern Death Match. Winner moves on with the Scarlet Witch. We'll be right back right after this. Hey everybody, if you like what we're doing here at The Rib and you would like to support our channel, just click on the donate button below or become a channel member to access our perks. All right, Fennec had the faster lap time in this group between the two, so she's gonna get inside lane advantage for lap one of this Southern Death Match. Here they go. Man, neck and neck coming around the guard tower, and then Fennec floors it, hits the whole shot around Kickapoo, but then Robin catches up. Robin flips her up. Oh, it's the sisters. Of I can't believe it. The sisters again, twice into this morning's race. The sisters of the Kaiju strike again. They are not happy that we skipped out on them Saturday morning, and they are back with a vengeance. Look at Fennec get sideways. And then Robin flips Fennec over, also rolls over himself, and they both come to a stop right there in Kaiju's lair, right next to the Sisters of the Kaiju. They are back up at the top of the start gate. We're gonna reset this lap and rerun it again. Since there was no winner, Fennec on the inside lane, Robin on the outside lane. Here they go. Fennec starting to pull away. Hits the whole shot around Kickapoo Pass. Robin closing the gap. Robin right on that bumper. But Robin unable to get around Fennec. Fennec draws first blood to take the first win in the best two out of three. 6.127 lap time. Check out the replay from the Kenny Vision Cam over the sewer vent. And Fennec is gone. But then Robin with a last minute charge coming over the jump, trying to close the gap, but unable to get around Fennec Shan and do so. So Fennec takes the win for lap one. All right, Robin now moves to the inside lane down by one lap. He's gonna have to win it here to tie it up, to send it to a third and final lap in this Southern death match. Side by side around the guard tower. Robin gets out, hits the whole shot. Can he keep it out in front? And look at him, he just keeps expanding that lead and accelerating to take the win of lap two. And a, wow, another sub six. How many sub six laps was that so far? Somebody's gonna have to comment below at the end of this morning's races to actually tell us how many sub six second runs we've had this morning. Look at this, Robin just starts making that gap between him and Fennec bigger and bigger and bigger. And Fennec 
unable to do a thing. It is now tied. Now look here. Robin had the faster lap time out of those two laps. So he's going to get a crucial inside lane advantage for this third and final lap. Here they go. Winner moves on with the Scarlet Witch. Robin gets the whole shot, but Fennec right on his bumper. Here comes Fennec. Fennec trying to get around the high side and unable to do so. Robin with some amazing blocks down the middle straight and around Kaiju's lair to take the win and seal the deal of this Southern Death match. Look how close and side by side these cars are. Robin barely gets out in front of Fennec. Fennec then hits the accelerator coming around the helipad, tries to get around him. Robin blocks over the jump tries to pass him again and Robin blocks again going around the lair and a well-earned victory by Robin the Boy Wonder. Congratulations to Golden Hour Racing and Numbskull Racing, both with a sub six second time. You're moving on to the quarterfinals. Don't go anywhere, my friends. We're going to be right back after this quick short break with our next group. Hey, no matter where you are, you can always watch our races here at the rim. So please check out all the playlists on our channel and leave us a comment to tell us what you think. All right, back to the action. Oh, this car is gorgeous. BLR from Blue Line Racing is driving in Two-Face. I love how this car looks. This is an amazing car. He's gonna be going up against veteran Daddy G from G4 Diecast Racing here in Colorado, who's going to be driving in the Sith Trooper. They'll be racing against Craigster Sr. from Hot Nuts Diecast in Roadrunner, which, man, that car looks like it was meant to run and run fast. And last but not least, it is the Dark Lord himself, Sneaky Bob from Vapor Racing, driving in Darth Vader. Oh, look at those lightsabers. I hope we, they don't spring out and, like, slice a car in half. That's the last thing we need. All right. Two-Face and the Sith Trooper starting on the front row. Roadrunner and Darth Vader on the back row. Here they go. Lap one. Neck and neck. Two-Face gets the whole shot. Sith Trooper sits and slips in a second right behind him. Oh, the Sith Trooper rolls it in the lair, allowing Darth Vader to take second and then Roadrunner crawls across the finish. Sub six of 5.85. Still not fast enough, but another sub six. I expected the Roadrunner to cross that finish line a whole lot faster. You see, Darth Vader looked like he was going to pull into second behind Two Face, but then Sith Trooper cuts him off. You know, Lord Vader is not going to like that. So I think Lord Vader actually used the dark side of the force to sabotage the Sith Trooper, causing him to roll in front of him so Darth Vader could take second place. Wow. No love lost with the Empire. I'll tell you what. So, man, the Sith Trooper comes to a stop right there, Kenny's K-Babs, and then the Rough Runner just launches him out of the way to take third place. Wow. I guess Sith Troopers like K-Babs. And now, Lord Vader moves up to the pole position. Two-Face moves over to the front right. Sith Trooper, no points on the board, is now in position four. It's going to be hard to come back for the Sith. Here they go, lap two. Darth Vader hits the whole shot. Two-Face down. Oh, Two-Face crashes! A violent crash by Two-Face. Darth Vader takes first, followed by the Sith in second, and Roadrunner in third. Wow. Another... <laughs> Okay, it's just sub sixes are the norm now. That's that's what it is. Watch Two-Face. You're gonna see him at the top of the screen hit the Live Young diecast line and get launched by the Sith Trooper off the track. <laughs> Look at here, from a different angle. Watch the Sith Trooper just push him right off. Bam! And he goes flying off the track, barely misses. Bam! Barely misses the police station, lands on the cop cars and rolls over. Here's another close up. Check it out right here. Bam! Wow. Two Face went flying. Those cop cars are not going to like their cars getting dented up by Two Face. This is not going to be good. My word. All right. 
back up to the top for lap three. Both Two-Face and the Sith Trooper have a DNF, and it looks like Darth Vader pulling away here, still on the front row. Let's see what happens. Vader gets a hold. Oh, Sith Trooper hits the danger fence, and Darth Vader takes another win, followed by Roadrunner. Oh, and this, where did the, the Sith Trooper hit the danger fence? How did he finish? Oh, 5.7924. That has to make it on the fastest lap leaderboard. Who is going to get bumped off to this morning? And wow, Vapor Racing takes the third fastest time in the rim. Bay City Diecast gets bumped off. Wow. All four drivers finish, but watch. Man, Sith Trooper bounces off the danger fence, coming around Kickapoo Pass, and somehow recovers. But I think he had a little help from Two-Face. Gets a little bump from Two-Face behind him to be able to keep him going. And that's how all four cars finish right there. Vader in first, Roadrunner in second, Sith Trooper in third, and Two-Face in fourth. Now, look at the point standings. Darth Vader definitely moving on, but any of the other three can move on. Two-Face and Sith both tied at the bottom. They need Roadrunner to DNF and one of them to either finish second or better. Who's going to be? Oh, Sith Trooper goes flying off the sewer vent. And there goes Road Roadrunner crashes into the danger fence after the jump. Darth Vader takes the win, followed by Two-Face in second. Oh, my word. Two-Face and Sith needed Roadrunner to DNF to have a chance. But then the Sith Trooper goes flying off the sewer vent ends up hitting the Kenny Vision Cam crew. I hope they are all right. Not sure what happened. Why the Sith Trooper jumped the track right there. There he is on his lid right there in front of Kenny's KBAB at the sewer vent. And then watch the rest of the race. Look at Two-Face doing, he's bouncing back and forth, left to right. Almost comes off the infield around the helipad turn. And then here goes, and he got a thing. Did Lord Vader use the dark side of the force to throw Roadrunner off the track into that danger fence? Wow. Wow. I do believe with those two DNFs, Two-Face, yes, he is. He is advancing on to the next round with Darth Vader with an almost perfect run here in his group. Congratulations. Vapor Racing and Blue Line Racing. You are moving on to the quarterfinals, which kick off next week. Another, the two winners moving on. Sub six second times. Wow. Congratulations to Golden Owl Racing, Numbskull Racing, Vapor Racing, and Blue Line Racing. Wow. That was one excellent Sunday morning of racing ladies and gentlemen oh you don't want to miss out we're going to take a quick short break then we're going to come back with our final thoughts of this race so don't go anywhere you don't want to miss out hey everybody don't forget to pick up your commemorative cars of legends t-shirt or pint glass we have also fun items here in our shop like the sisters of the kaiju tees check it out All right, we are back up here in the tower. Wow, how many sub six second runs was that? That was a lot in one race here Sunday morning at the Yumatsu Hara Sakai Tower and the Pacific Rim Speedway. That was a lot. If you were keeping track, put it in the comments below. Also, I did post a question during our welcome. Who is your favorite Robin? Is it Dick Grayson? Is it Jason Todd? Is it Tim Drake? Who do you like the best and why? Because Robin is moving on to the core finals. The boy wonder. Wow, oh wow. We are done with the initial rounds. 32 cars have been reduced down to 16. And the quarterfinals kick off next weekend. And we're going to be back Saturday morning. Hopefully, maybe we can get, maybe we can get the, the cops to actually have the armored vehicles out surrounding the sisters so they don't do anything or shoot them on site something yeah something next saturday morning we will be back 
with the kickoff of the quarterfinals here of Cars of Legends. I am Rubber Toe, and it has been my pleasure to host you this morning, and we just want to wish everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road.